knowledge about Allah are of three types, three darajat stages, isn't it? The first stage is to know Allah through yourself. You don't need someone to tell you about God. It's fitrah. Why should someone tell you about God? God is there every day. Especially woman, you carry a baby for nine months. There is God there. You know, Allah says, you will know me through two things, isn't it? Yourself and universe. They ask Amir al-Mu'mineen. Mawlai kainat, salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi. Umma salli ala Muhammad wa al-Muhammad. Ayyul ma'rifatayna amfa. Which one of the two ways is the most beneficial in terms of knowing God? Said ma'rifat al-nafs. Knowing God through self is the quickest. Example, marriage is knowing God through self. Marriage, but the more we get married, the more we stay away from Allah. Quran is saying, not me. Seriously. It's knowing God through self, marriage. The difficulties you go through your marriages are all means of getting to know your Lord. Raising child are means of knowing Allah. So the first level is to know your Lord through yourself. At one stage you were nothing worth mentioning. And today you are a force to reckon with. Can't we reflect and ponder? There was a time when you were zero. Today you are hero. And there are people who are hero and today they are zero. Can't we ponder and reflect? The best way to know God is to know God through yourself. Through changes of your lives. Through the marahil, the stages that you go through. And that is the ayah I gave you the other night. Quran 30 verse 30. فَأَكِمْ وَجْحَكَ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا فِتْرَةَ اللَّهِ اللَّتِي فَتَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْكِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيُّمُ ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون majority أكون أكيلي many they don't ponder they don't think Allah said many do not reflect it just need a reflection this is what they call the علم الخدوري isn't it knowledge by presence just need the tapur every single stage of your life pause and ponder, Wallahi, it will take you back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second stage of ma'rifah is what? Through universe. How many times our first beloved imam would use B to demonstrate the existence of God to people? B, how B is created by Allah. And he would demonstrate. But there is no creature more beautiful, more smarter in its creation than insan. Insan is top on the agenda of God. So therefore you go out there, you don't just go out for going out sick, but you go there, see things, and that will help you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last one is the highest one, that is very difficult. Where Allah Himself show you Himself. That's very high level, high voltage. Ahlul Bayt. Those of you who have been to Arafah, you look at Dua or Arafah. Even look at Dua Abu Hamza al Thumali. How Ahlul Bayt experience. Dua al Sabah of Imam Ali. Ya mandalla ala thatihi bi thatihi. Oh, the one whose essence indicate to his essence. In other words, you don't need anyone to indicate to you who is Allah. Allah himself will touch your heart. كَيْفَ يُسْتَدَلُّ عَلَيْكَ بِمَا هُوَ مُفْتَكَرٌ إِلَيْكَ Imam said, how is it possible? How on earth is possible to indicate to you through someone who is in need of you? أَيَكُونُ لِغَيْرِكَ زُغُورٌ مَا عَلَيْهِ سَلَكَ 
حتى يكون هو المظهر لك is anyone there who has more illuminating existence than you and then through his existence is it indicated to your existence متى جبت حتى تحتاج الى الدليل يدل عليك امام حسين قال الله where when have you been absent that you need someone dalil guide to take me to where you are you've not been absent allah you always there then imam hussein said no am yet ainu la tara alayka rakiba that i which does not see you is blind so what i'm trying to say is that zikr of allah meaning no god dedicate time to study about god seriously how many books about allah's existence you've read dedicate some time otherwise you know what this religion will continue to be boring especially to our youth of this day and age you say there are challenges agreed but what are you doing about the challenge are you reading or you folding your arms depending on imam bara or on the member member provide guidelines you have to go and explore if you truly want to understand what this religion is all about unless if it's secondary to you if you want to enjoy it and you know its value sweat for it ma'rifatullah zikr yes we have other forms of zikr over astaghfirullah but no the highest form of zikr is quran no doubt but to take it to the highest level is to understand what you are saying the last one of zikr is what is not to forget god there are two ways of forgetting god one way is what is for god not to be in your life at all which is not possible according to our faith god will always be there but you are the one who put some clouds around it but if you make a little bit of effort god will show himself she may stand against away from you and difficult to get her back god is not like that just make a little bit of effort and god is there so therefore in conclusion the point i'm trying to make in the is that if you want to have nafsul mutmainna we need to work for it if you do not work for it you will not find it you know these sayings of spirituality tarqu al-lazza min ajli al-lazza said if you truly want to get there you have to ignore taste for a taste there is josh in talking to god if you know how to talk to him salat as a special taste quran as taste you assess yourself do you enjoy the taste how many years in islam how many years don't you feel pain you work in if for 5 years no breaking even or just breaking even no profit how do you feel we are trading with allah here but are we gaining tarqu al-lazz min ajl al-lazz you have to ignore test for a test meaning what you have to sacrifice sometimes if you always want to follow your ego and your selfish interest always you will deny yourself the pleasure of worship as they said success is what ibara alladhatin atliya success is nothing but intellectual tastes and failure is nothing but intellectual bitterness what does it mean and you have to work for it that's sicker so i leave you and myself with this challenge how are you going to take your understanding of god to what level 
and that will definitely help you have a structured program for yourself tell yourself i'm going to dedicate a month throughout the year to make sure i read this particular book about god it starts with theory then it goes with practice i'm not saying if you start with practice you don't feel you feel but it becomes inherited and not acquired inherited faith had its time in this day and age inherited doesn't work much huh acquired what is acquired what you strive for so now i'm targeting the youth now i'm talking to you now guys brothers and sisters if you want to feel this religion dedicate your time to this religion explore its ocean explore the times you spent for nothing use it to understand more about these faiths and you will be free in conclusion this deen this religion will not be religion wallah i'm saying it again if it can't meet me during my difficulties in this world stateen we're talking of god if you remember your husband sometimes you feel good if you remember god you don't feel good then there's something wrong if i remember my mentor i feel good if you remember imam ali you don't feel good There's something wrong that's the point i'm trying to make when my wife travels i miss her the moment she comes she knocks the door i feel good when i travel far away from my children when i see them i feel good so when allah is being mentioned do you feel good if you do not feel good there is something wrong That's the point I'm trying to make. He is the creator. Quran makes it very clear when Allah describes believers. Idha dhukira Allah wajilat qulubuhum wa idha tuliyat alayhim ayatuhu zadatuhum imana wa ala rabbihim yatawakkalun. Allah said believers are those when God is being mentioned they begin to shake. So if Allah cannot shake you there's something wrong. So I leave it with you and myself. Let's work hard. It's very simple. It's not complicated, but it needs determined person. Let's be determined. Wallah, well, you see, you will enjoy this faith if you know it more. Seriously. And for you to know it more, dedicate your life I said in one month not like continuously in one month you divide it throughout the year I'm just going to read one book about Allah no no I'm going to go to Quran in a verse about God I'm going to make my research on it throughout the year it's more than enough Allah if you make one step he will run to you dunya you make one step if you are lucky you get one step otherwise you get half step you can't please dunya but it is easy to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala arid an nas gayatan la tudrak if you are waiting for the whole narubi jamaat to be happy with you then you are at the wrong place but Allah will be happy with you within a twinkle of an eye if you want everybody to accept your project then you are at the wrong place ah imam ali left for kufa who are you not to suffer may Allah forgive us inshallah now last